Well, Chris, dozens of law enforcement officers from here in North Alabama and beyond have gathered here behind me at Faith Church to say their final farewells to Sergeant Nick Reisner, a man loved by so many, not just here in his hometown of Florence. Now, just to put it in perspective, this parking lot behind me has been full since just before nine o'clock this morning. Officers wanting to make sure they can send, give their condolences uh, to the family and pay their final respects again to a man that was loved by so many who made such a big difference here in the Shoals area. Now visitation is open from right now until two o'clock this afternoon for members of the community to come by and to pay their final respects to the family, uh, especially if you can't stay for that funeral service. It is an open funeral service at two o'clock this afternoon here at the church as well before uh, he is set to have a, a massive escort to his final resting place as well um, in Florence. Now stay as we say goodbye to Nick Reisner today. The governor ordered flags be flown at half staff. So if you look around and you've seen those flags and you're wondering what's going on, that is all being done statewide in his honor. Governor Kay Ivey offering her condolences and her prayers to his family and to the Sheffield community on this somber day. And we do know the attorney general is in here right now uh, meeting with the members of the law enforcement and of course his family. Uh, just to be here with them and to stand alongside him. Now, a special flag. Now, this is, is really incredible, and it really speaks to the testament this, we were on who Nick Reisner was. This uh, special flag that flew at ground zero. It's been part of a presidential funerals, funerals for other fallen heroes. It's actually here today for Nick's service. It's known as a United States honor flag, and it's handled only by a person wearing new gloves, and those gloves will then be presented to the family. As soon as we knew about this, we were actually just in, uh, about 100 miles away doing a funeral for Hardin County, yeah. Tennessee. Um, so we came right back as soon as we could uh, from Washington uh, to bring the flag here to honor your hero. Now, sadly, this flag has been present at more than 100 officer, firefighter, and military funerals each and every year. And there will also be a rifle salute for Reisner at the graveside service uh, done by the Honor Guard as well. A massive escort, again, will be taking place. So if you're here in Florence area, expect to be held up by this escort as they leave the church here and go to the cemetery this afternoon. It is going to travel from the church. It's going to be led by state troopers and by Florence police. It's going uh, to start after that service. So around three o'clock, maybe a little after it's going to head north on Cox Creek Parkway. It's going to go to Chisholm Road and then it will end on Old Chisholm Road. And again, expect delays there. Uh, they already have one side of the parking lot closed off for this procession. And I'm telling you dozens. We saw that massive procession for him when they brought him home from UAB to Huntsville and then from Huntsville here to the Shoals. And it's going to be another beautiful sight. Uh, and we do expect to see many of you out there lining uh, the streets for this procession as well to make sure that he uh, gets the recognition he deserves before he makes his way to his final resting place. Now, those of you who can't attend today's funeral, it will be uh, live streamed. Of course, we will be live streaming it for you. It will be live streamed by the church. Um, of course, a lot of people just wanting to, to send their wishes to a man everyone loves so much. There are also other ways that many of you are finding ways to support Nick Reisner's family and his fellow police officers with the Sheffield Police Department. I want to talk about that GoFundMe page right now. It really is incredible. Since they stood up this GoFundMe, more than 400 people have donated more than 30 thousand dollars for his family and you can find a link on how you can donate right now waytv.com it really is incredible just to see the generosity that so many people have wanting to do something not knowing how to do it and that is just one small way that you can help make sure his family is taken care of also, schools across the area are doing what they can to give back. Some of them have sent letters to uh, their local police departments, to their SROs, making sure that they are appreciated as well, doing so in uh, Sergeant Reisner's honor. Also at tonight's Florence football game, at that high school football game, the HOSA club uh, is set to collect donations for his uh, family. It's going to be uh, at Brawley Stadium kickoff for tonight's game versus uh, Sparkman will be at 7 o'clock tonight. So just if you're looking for a way to 
give back, you're headed out to the game, know that they will be conducting that collection at that game tonight. Also, we just learned about an incredible benefit concert that was planned in an instant for the Reisner family, for the Sheffield Police Department. It's going to be held in Sheffield at Riverfront Park next Tuesday. October 12th. It is free. They are accepting donations and talk about local musicians. You know, this is what's so special about the Shoals. We've got Shenandoah, Lenny LeBlanc and the Travis Womack band. Incredible Grammy winning artists that are going to be right here honoring this man who made the ultimate sacrifice for all of us, saving so many lives and really touching so many lives as he served the Sheffield community. So look out for that concert. Again, that's going to be held at Riverfront Park next Tuesday at seven o'clock in Sheffield. We also know about this man uh, named Dalen Kramer. He makes laser engraved bracelets in honor of those who sacrifice their lives in the line of duty. And we know that he is working on a bracelet right now for Sergeant Reisner. And just to tell you a little bit about these bracelets, these bracelets are custom made and they are only put out there with the approval from the family. So Mr. Kramer right now is working with the family to get this bracelet approved before it is made available to the public. Take a listen. I want them to be 100% custom, so that way when somebody looks at the bracelet, it, it speaks to the officer's life in this case. Um, that's why we put the canine American flag on one side because he was a canine handler. We have his end of watch and his agency, and then he is also a military uh, veteran. Now, Kramer has already... Kramer's already sold more than 280 bracelets. They are $10 a piece and they all, all of the money from these bracelets will go to the Reisner family. You heard him talk about his military service before he joined the Sheffield Police Department in 2012. He served uh, eight years in the Army Reserve. You know, somebody who just loves his community, loved spreading kindness anywhere you went. Nick Reisner, if you knew him, knowing him was to love him and he never met a stranger and, and we chatted with uh, Sheffield Police Chief Rick Ter Ricky Terry earlier uh, this week and you know all these stories that'll put a smile on your face that'll make you laugh listen to him describe just one of the many ways that Nick spread love on a day-to-day -day basis we had an incident at one of our local restaurants where the individual we was dealing with hated the police and Sergeant Reisner asked her, so why do you hate us so bad? Yeah. And I can't recall what the girl said, and but Sergeant Reisner said, I love you. So uh, it's tough. I love you. If you knew him, you knew those words were going to come out of his mouth at some point during your day. You knew if you had to work alongside him, if he was showing up at your business, if you ran into him on the streets, you knew he was going to make you smile. You knew he was going to be there to protect you, to do whatever you needed to keep you safe, to make you feel comfortable in your hometown, in the Sheffield area, anywhere he was, knowing that Nick was there, was knowing uh, a friend and knowing that he had your back. And really that's the testament of the man he was. And that's why all of these people are here today to have his back now as they uh, prepare to send him to his final resting place a little bit later this afternoon. Again, that public visitation is underway right now until two o'clock. His service expected to get underway at two o'clock here at Faith Church in Florence and uh, really is it's hard to put into words what this means uh, to his family to his officers to see so many people out here who love him just as much as they did Chris